My dear friend Alexis, your excellencies, distinguished guests, dear colleagues, delegates of the Congress, comrades, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor and privilege to participate and to share my thoughts at the third Congress of Syriza Progressive Alliance. I understand Syriza as a political party that promotes a multidimensional policy of independence and friendly cooperation, peaceful dialogue based on international law, and resolving problems in relation to the benefit of the people and the countries in the region. I am here today upon the invitation of the Syriza's President, my dear friend Alexis Tsipras, with whom we share a lot. Our friendship is crowned with the Ewald von Kleist Award, aiming to honor leading figures in security policy that have made an outstanding contribution to international peace and conflict management. We also share the Hessian Peace Prize, which is awarded to the individuals who have outstanding service to furthering mutual understanding among nations and peace. And we were awarded the International Peace Prize of Westphalia, which honors personalities or representatives of states who have been committed to European integration and peace in Europe. But, but before being granted, me and Alexis, we were determined to make a joint, joint step that will work for the future of our countries, of our citizens, the whole region and Europe, in the name of the future of friendship, peace and stability, better future for young generation. The recent turns of events in Ukraine caused by the Russian aggression raise strong risks, concerns and fears. The only solution, of course, is peace. Urgent dialogue instead of violence. Therefore, I fully support Ukraine's independence and territorial integrity, and I express my condolences with Ukraine's leadership and with the families of the victims. An urgent peace is needed with immediate diplomatic solution that respects the principles of international law, determined to defend the common values, human rights, and the protection of fundamental freedoms. We, the democratic world, we need to continue to strengthen the international cooperation and coordination in order to develop new approaches for promotion and protection of democracies around the world. With Alexis, we have worked for peace and succeeded in resolving a conflict that goes back deep into a history. And this success has an impact far away beyond the region. Our peace agreement sent a strong signal to the world. There cannot be only the law of strongest. In today's world, there is still the path of respect and compromise, the path of mutual understanding, the path of peace and stability. We focused our vision to one joint goal. We established a political relation that raised to cooperation and culminated to a friendship. Both of us poured this friendship into the foundation of the new long-lasting relationship between our countries. It is the most precious benefit. Can you imagine how much can we build 
on these foundations in the future. Do not hesitate. Do not limit your dreams and visions. Yes, our citizens, our societies, and our countries can build a region of prosperity on these foundations. That's why Alexis and I choose to do everything we can to find a solution, not to delay. Who is decorated with virtues? The one who simply prolongs the problems or the one who accepts to find the solution? We came to a solution when everyone claimed it was impossible. Last but not least, through the fulfillment of our commitments, the legacy of our friendship will be maintained and developed further because we openly discuss all issues even when it seems that there is no solution. What are the challenges if not a chance for a solution? If you do not see them as opportunity, for creative solution as steps toward achieving our vision. That is the way friends work, focused on solution, building bridges, not walls. <clears throat> Dear friends, comrades, we need to continue to collaborate even more than before. The ideas of the left must be promoted, loudly spoken and articulated. And we need to take action upon our ideas. We have a really good chance. I challenge the disease that Europe is or will be led by the far right. There are many countries such as Greece and North Macedonia, that showed the opposite. Let's stay together. Let's do more for the democracy and for the solidarity. Let's turn another page. Really, you begin. Come. Nearchi for our citizens. Nearchi for our countries, for our region, for Europe. Evkaristopoli, благодаря многу. Thank you very much.